All right, so we all focus on Yolo Park because of their Transformers Rise of the Beast, which is understandable, but there's another company, Blocks, that does model kits that look pretty good as well. I mean, I've seen the G1 little mini ones that they do, and I've actually seen on Facebook, believe it or not, someone already have this in-hand images, and it looks good. RC from Transformers Rise of the Beast action figure model kit that you put together. Going for 18 US dollars, not bad, not a bad price. Um, obviously, it's not going to be up to standard or as good as Yolo Park, but for the price you're paying, and again, I've seen this in hand images over on Facebook, um, some reviews on it, looks pretty good. Not bad, not bad at all. Uh, standing at a little over four inches in height, 4.13 inches to be precise. Um, depending on your metric system, you guys can do the conversion. So it's a fair size. I mean, it's not over big. Obviously, it's not, you know, seven, eight inches or anything like that. It's just a standard action figure three quarter four inch scale there you guys go something like a Haya toys scale uh action figure you guys have any of the Haya toys and that uh, that type anyway looks pretty good um pre-orders are available right now over at big bad toy store comes equipped with a lot of cool stuff no doubt about it the only thing is right there that pose there kind of throws me off of the legs there i would almost kind of pose it so it kind of conceals that gap in her thighs there um that's a noticeable thing there but again $18, right? It's not going to be, you know, top tier notch model kit, right? Uh, comes with a base tail, base as well, some kind of, you know, effects as well. There you guys go. You guys see the dimensions. So, you know what? $18 might pick it up myself. Let us know what you guys think of it overall. Available at Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description of the video.